Hello, I am Chippy K, and in this video we will learn how to create a work object coordinate system in Robot Studio. Using your favorite 3D editor, create a table and then save the file as an SAT. In my experience, I found that Robot Studio works best with SAT files. Save this file in a folder that you can refer to later. After the file has been saved, open Robot Studio and select the Home tab, then Import Geometry, browse for Geometry and select the object you just saved, your 3D editor. Then under the Layout tab, select the object, right click and change the position. You can set the position of the object in the um, exact place you would like it to be in the world. Remember to use the axis as a guide. So now we will be creating a work object called in a system from our imported object. But however, before we do that, we need to be able to select the edges of the object. So we can do this by selecting our object in the layout tab. And then under the modeling, we can border around, around um, surface so, and select the top surface and create. This creates a selectable border around our top surface, which we could use the curve selection to select it. So now that we've done that, we can create a new work object coordinate system by selecting the Create Work Object button in the Home tab. This brings up a dialog box in which we can name our work objects. I'll call this Drawing Table. And under the object frame, I'll select frame by point, click the drop down arrow, and select three points. So it needs three points. The first two points should be on the x axis, and the last should be on the y axis. Refer to the axis so that you know where to select the point. So I'll select my first point on the x axis, then a second point on the x axis, but in a positive direction away from the first point. And then in the Y axis, I will select the third point. Then accept, and this creates a new work object and places the frame there, right at the corner of our object. Now that we have created our work object, we can select and use this work object. So under the Home tab, where it says work object, please select your work object. When we first created our tap parts in the previous video, we were working in default work object, but now we'll use our own work object. So if we create a new part, it would store it in the parts tab under the work objects and targets in our new objects. So the, the parts we created, the targets we created in the previous video were stored under our work objects in there. But if we create a new target, let's say relative to our work object, so we can add this at, um, let's say, 0, 0, 0, 0 on our work object, add that, and then create. It, cr it adds this target to our new selected work object. And if we try to view the robot a target, it does not work because the orientation of our target, which is there, is in the opposite direction. So we can st we can fix that by changing the orientation of our target. If we rotate it by 180 in the X, then 
then our robot can get there and you can see that that's at the very edge of our walk objects and we can easily move around our walk objects by modifying the target's position if we wanted to get to like 100 in the X we can now do that and the robot we get to 100 in the X and notice that it's no longer based on the center of the robot it's now relative to the center of our walk object however we have these targets that we've defined in our previous video we now want to change the walk object to be in our new walk object so we can simply do that by selecting all of them and pasting them there then it will ask do you want to reposition the target select no so that way they are still in the default positions we can delete this ones now because we don't need them and we can rename all this So now that we've renamed, we've renamed all our targets and they are now in the right workspace. If we move our workspace, all the targets will move as well because they are now related to our workspace. Lastly, I would like to show you how to move your work object. So, these, these targets that have been defined are relative to a work object. And if you would like to move them, you can select a work object and offset its position. Let's move it by 100 in a Y. And you can see that all the targets move with the work object. However, you notice that this table that we defined does not move. That's because Robot Studio created a work object from our table, but it's not attached to the table so we can move the work object there but if you also want to move the object that you imported you have to do that manually by going to the object and um, offsetting its position and you would also have to do that for the for the border we created around the object and now that's how you can move your work objects in Robot Studio